Right. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can you all hear me? Um, yes. So, first of all, I need to share my screen. Am I able to do that? All right. So, uh, where basically uh, what I'm going to talk about uh, is uh, I'm from the Department of Mathematics. I'm not going to talk about many uh, personalities and important personalities in mathematics. But what I'm going to talk to you about is the philosophy of what we teach here at SSC. So let me quickly just share my screen and then we'll take it away from there. All right, so what you see here is what we're doing at SSC. So we're actually doing something very different. So you've had an introduction from uh, our Dean about um, the way things have been set up at SSC, the way courses have been designed, the way the, the degree has been engineered to uh, enable you to become, you know, curious, creative minds, uh, and to pursue whatever uh, you want to pursue after you've graduated from SSC. So we're definitely doing something differently here. So which is driven by the philosophy of learning without borders. So what that means is that you come into this degree program and you've already been told that you don't, you maybe you have something in your mind, uh, what you want to become, what you want to learn, but you're not forced into a certain discipline, rather you're given a well-rounded, uh, expansive experience of almost all disciplines that are being offered at SSE. So what happens in your first year is what we call uh, the core curriculum that we offer you. And it's actually uh, thrust your way for force. Uh, you don't have much flexibility or choice in that. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you why this is a good thing that you do not have this choice. And I'm going to tell you why it will help you eventually in eventually making up your mind and what you really want to do. So how do we exercise or implement this philosophy of ours, learning with our borders is precisely through whether well, one major step, the first step is through this core curriculum that we have. So I'm going to tell you what the core curriculum is a little bit later, but the first thing I want to talk about is why is it important? So as I said at the beginning, that this is important because it gives you a well-rounded uh, science education experience. So you may be interested in physics or mathematics and you will have to take a course in biology. So you might think that you know people are getting back at you or life is getting back at you, which is not true. Um, so there are, a lot of students that you know we've had as advisees who have later on shared their experience how they came into this program thinking they will be electrical engineers or computer scientists or chemists for that matter and they eventually ended up becoming something completely different so you've seen this this journey this learning expedition as the dean very rightly called it um, so he shared his own experience, so starting out as an electrical engineer and then eventually, uh, you know, leading into a career, uh, a full-fledged career of physics. So this is, I, I, I really like the, the term, it's a learning expedition. So let me add that here. So it's a learning expedition for all of us, and that's important to remember, which means that there are going to be pitfalls we will fall, we will rise again. And that's the beauty of it. So there will be disappointments, there will be excitement, but uh, it's all a part of this game that we're, we're in. And the best thing about it is that we as instructors, as faculty members uh, are you know, as much in the learning frame of mind as you are. So we're in this together and we're learning together and we're going to progress together. So this is why we really want to have this little choice given to you and this core curriculum 
which basically decides, uh, basically gives you enough um, uh, breadth uh, of, uh, of knowledge to, you know, to be able to decide what major you will be selecting in your second year. So just to substantiate what I was just saying, here you see a picture of uh, three scientists who shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2018. So the first woman you see is Frances Arnold. She's a chemical engineer. Uh, the second person you see in the middle is George Smith. He's a biologist. And Gregory Winter is a biochemist. And if you've seen this movie, A Beautiful Mind, uh, you know that there is no Nobel Prize in mathematics, but it was a mathematician who got this Nobel Prize in, in economics. Um, so you see, it's all in this ever rapidly changing world, we have rapidly changing and more demanding challenges which incite curiosity and continuously demand creativity. And in this world, it is not possible to really break barriers or break new grounds uh, by sticking to a particular discipline. And you see in this picture right here, these are people sharing a Nobel Prize in chemistry and none of them is really a chemist per se. Um, all right, so how do we achieve this? We achieve this by introducing the core curriculum at SSE. So like Dr. Abu Bakr just pointed out that you know, you're going to have you're going to be forced to be taken a double E course in the, on your first year, whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm not going to say it like that because this is what I'm here to uh, sell. Uh, but I'm going to say that you're going to take one course in biology that does not hurt. Uh, you're going to take one course in chemistry, uh, two courses in physics because this is of course very important. It's like the, uh, you know, like the backbone of all engineering disciplines. Um, and of course, science as well. Uh, then you have one course in chemistry, doesn't hurt. Uh, two courses in mathematics, well, we've all grown up listening that maths is very important, you know, it's a language of sciences and so on and so forth. And then there's one course in double E. So that's, that's the core curriculum at SSC. Apart from this, you'll have a lab um, in biochemistry and physics each in, in the first year, which is mandatory. So here's my message for you. Lekin, apne ghabrana nahi. So, what is this going to do? So, apne ghabrana kaise nahi hai? Aapke paas peer advisors honge, faculty advisors honge. Uh, you will probably think that I'm, I'm, you know, uh, crumbling under pressure. I, I can't take classical mechanics. Uh, calculus is too hard. Um, you know, these things, but you'll have peer advisors, you'll have faculty adv advisors, you'll have people, uh, nice, friendly, passionate uh, instructors that you can always approach. Please do not hesitate to approach instructors. At times, we as students feel that we're always asking a stupid question, um, but never, never feel like that. Uh, our instructors are very, very receptive. I haven't heard in so many years that, you know, any instructor, you know, bit a student. So they don't bite, uh, as far as I know. Um, and they're very receptive, very generous with their time. So uh, try to approach your instructors um, as much as you can. You'll have, you'll be having teaching assistants that will give you a lot of support, peer advisors, faculty advisors. So apne ghabrana nahi hai. We're all in this together and we're going to learn together. Um, so this course, uh, the core curriculum has implications on, on two things. So the first one is major selection and the second one is minor selection. So you've got to do a major, but you may choose to do a minor or you may not choose to do a minor. Um, so my first advice to you would be to be very, very open towards uh, be very open to your to all options. Uh, again, just to echo what uh, my colleagues have said before, uh, be very sensitive to your surroundings. What is the need of the hour? What does the world really need at the moment? 
And then most importantly, what the Dean also pointed out is listen to your heart and do that while you're experiencing the core curriculum, this breadth, beautiful breadth of all uh, disciplines housed in SSC. And while you're doing that, you should try and make up your mind about what you want to do as your major. So don't come into this core curriculum or into this degree thinking that this is what I want to do. So that's my first advice to you. My second advice is that as long as you're open to uh, this world of opportunities and world of possibilities that are out there, um, you can actually have minors in other schools. So the core curriculum is only forcefully engaging you in certain subjects uh, just for a year. And apart from that, there is a whole lot of flexibility in this, uh, which is ingrained in the SSC curriculum and the SSC design, which enables you to have minors from outside uh, the, uh, the school as well. So um, you don't have to worry that, you know, this course in biology is, you know, not my cup of tea and it's kind of wasting my time. It would have been better to have a course from, I don't know, the business school or somewhere else. Uh, you'll have enough opportunity to do that. Uh, but what we really want to tell you right now is that this experience that you'll have through this core curriculum this philosophy that drives SSC, the undergraduate program at SSC, is going to benefit you. It's going to add to your curiosity. It's going to add to your skill set, which is absolutely essential in this rapidly changing world. And um, you will come out happy and um, excited about what you're going to learn in the second, third, and the fourth years eventually. So I'm going to stop here because I see that my time is kind of over and I'm going to stop sharing um, and I'll see you in the Q&A session.